So women, um, you know, are under a lot of pressure. We're supposed to look 20 years old all our life. And this is tough. And so uh, we're supposed to have super energy all our life. And I can tell you, I have an amazing energy and I'm on the, my six, 62nd year of my life. And, um, you know, compared to a hundred year old as a teenager. But still, you know, it's been amazing. We have, uh, you know, given birth to kids. Now we raised our kids and, and they, um, uh, are now out with their own families and kids. So what happens often in menopause time that um, we have maybe not all the energy that we need and we go on something called bioidentical hormones. So these are not synthetic hormones. These are bioidentical and we could maybe up our testosterone if needed, our estrogen, progesterone and have so much more energy in our life. Not everybody needs this. It depends on the traumas you've had in your life, how much adrenal stress you've had, and your lifestyle before. And, you know, I, I definitely feel like hormones are made in my food, in my uh, daily routine of exercise, sleeping enough, and the recovery of, uh, especially of sleeping and, and how that helps you. But you know, if somebody needs some help with that and uh, find somebody who uh, d gives uh, bioidentical hormones and uh, who tests you and actually uh, um, retests you every three months so that um, you're on a steady, balanced uh, hormone uh, level, it's not a bad idea. And uh, so some women needs it, some women doesn't. And, uh, you know, I think it depends on the lifestyle that you had long before menopause. So obviously sex drive comes from the relationship that we have with our mate. And uh, you know, if we don't have a good relationship and if there is a lot of quarrel, there's a lot of stress, I'm not eating well, I have stress at work, you know, we need to take some time off. I think we need to take time off and, and in the old days, people always did that. They would go away for a week or so and then rejuvenate their relationships. Um, I know that there's nothing sexier than a vegan uh, guy or girl. And, and that is not saying it because we are. It, it's saying it because it actually improves your circulation. And we use now, we have a product called with nitric oxide Boy, this has been great for you guys. It's been amazing for circulation. It's been amazing for impotence. And, um, you know, so I think it's more psychological than anything because the intimacy starts from, you know, a hug, a kiss. It, it starts from just being, a, being together and, and sharing so much in our life that we, we don't... Uh, we, we support each other. We, we don't trash each other. If we trash each other, of course, it's not going to work. If you have support from your mate, you will want to help. You will want to also have intimacy with, with your mate. It's just, uh, it's a normal fact. And a lot of, this is a question from men and women here uh, at the Institute a lot. And that... Um, it should never stop. I meet people that are 90 year old and they're like, I don't know when it's going to stop, but it hasn't stopped yet. And they are taking care of themselves and they exercise and they take care of their diet and, and they're happy and they have a positive attitude. I think somebody who is positive is going to have a good sex life. Clothing that is made of synthetic material like nylon, polyester, especially, it is very dangerous on your skin because it changes the frequency. Not only does it make uh, the, the skin um, uh, not breathe right, but it also makes you fatigue. Your whole system gets fatigue. And, you know, first of all, these are, there's like 2,000 different chemicals to make those clothes. So not only is it bad for me, but it's bad when it goes out in nature and it's polluting our rivers and our lakes and our, our ocean. It's horrendous. But, you know, looking from my part, it's a carcinogen. 
you put it on like a newborn baby and they have often fire retardant into it. It's, um, it's terrible because you actually soak it in. And it doesn't matter how many times you wash these clothes, it's still in there. So products that like our organic cotton, um, wool, silk, uh, hemp, is hemp is very popular now, you find your way into organic uh, uh, products that textiles that will work. And uh, you know, that makes night and day. I have spent so many years working on our organic cotton bras because so many of the women that come to our institute has breast cancer. And I tell them, I don't want a nylon polyester or underwire because it actually increased the risk of breast cancer six times. And I just talked to a woman yesterday who had a cotton bra, but it had underwire and her tumor is right where the underwire is. And she's like, I can't believe that happened. I cannot believe because in so many other ways she's taken care. But, so, you know, look at that scenario. That's, um, it's very dangerous. So start uh, uh, also supporting the people that makes these products. And the internet is full of organic cotton. I mean, anything from underwear to clothes, yoga wear, everything. You know, that's in our store, we have that and our, and our guests are enjoying that when they go in there and, and then they dress in that. So it's, uh, it's extremely important to dress yourself and especially your kids in organic um, wear and not natural fiber. And you know, natural fiber, it's just this synthetic fiber really started in the 50s, 60s, and then we got the nylon stockings, and, and women got severe, serious problems with their um, with the infections and, and all kinds of problems. So, you know, I think that is gone. I think women are doing better with that part. It's, um, you have to think ahead. What is this gonna do to me? Yes, and a lot of things are much cheaper in the store, but then it's not quantity anymore, it's quality. Get a few good things, enjoy them, and of course also wash them in natural detergents that are biodegradable. You don't wanna wash them in heavy duty chemicals and then put them on. So many people have allergies from that and uh, you know, analogies from synthetic fiber and, and then the detergent and then all the other stuff that goes into the washing machines and you know, realize that everything that you do goes in back, back into nature. You know, it goes into the sewer, back into nature. Everything you do matters and you know, do the best you can and there's times that you know, of course a coat doesn't have to be or the, the, the pure fiber. You know, if I'm skiing, I'm gonna have a nylon suit for skiing, but everything else is gonna be natural fiber. So, um, you know, there's uses for things. And, you know, when, when polyester first came out, or nylon, I think it was used mainly for, um, for the big, for in wars, for uh, people, uh, uh, flying and going down with the balloons. And uh, then it was like, well, now we have this material. What else can we do with it? Well, it's been hurting people a lot. Uh, the 10 most important things is, first of all, a good night's sleep. And a good night's sleep takes in that the room should be dark, I don't want a TV in there. I don't want the phone close by me. I don't want the cell phone in my bed. I don't want the computer in the bed. And I, I want it to be peaceful. So when I go in there, that's what I do. Of course, you read a book or something to, to fall asleep. And if I need some help, there's melatonin, there's tryptophan, there's Bach flower remedies, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things naturally that can help me calm my nervous system if, if I'm too wired up. But TV doesn't help, you know, we think that it does, we think that, but then, then I'm so stimulated that I probably wake up in a few hours anyway. So sleep, I think, is important, and if we can go to bed early, great. Then I want to get up in the morning <clears throat> and I want to have a lot of liquids. So now I take maybe a lemon and I squeeze it in a big uh, jug of water 
if you want some sweetener, put some stevia in there. That's a natural sweetener. And uh, have that, maybe I did make a green drink, which we do for sure, a green drink. Our green drink in a good juicer uh, is, blue, is um, uh, celery, cucumber, and then there's sprouts. There's sunflower sprouts and pea sprouts. I put parsley, well, cabbage, anything you have at home too, you can add in there. And I drink that. And if you're fortunate to have wheatgrass at home, I drink two ounce shot of that. So we drink 16 ounces of the green drink, two ounce shot of wheatgrass. You're in seven heaven. Your body is, your body is for sure in seven heaven. And they're ready to go for the day. If I'm hungry, I eat some breakfast. And we make things like um, raw uh, buckwheaties. We make, we soak and sprout buckwheat. <coughs> you can soak and sprout millet, quinoa, amaranth, these are all gluten-free grains and teff. And, um, you know, if this is brand new for you, well, then eat a breakfast, but don't eat cornflakes. Don't eat in a, in a package. Make your own cereal. And some people just want a little handful of nuts, like some almonds or some walnuts or some sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, you know, and just, just to get some extra protein and, and uh, more essential fatty acids for you. Well then, maybe you go to the gym. So we go to the gym and we uh, work out, and uh, what we do every other day, we work out with weights, and we do hours of that. The thing is because you need 48 hours in between to recover, so you can do different things at the gym if you like to go every day, but if you do a comprehensive program, then, then you go every other day. Aerobic, you can do every day. And uh, if you want, you can have one day off rest. Uh, some people, of course, go to church. Some people go to the beach. Some people go in the mountains. Just, you know, take a nice walk. So um, the day goes on, and if I'm working, I might have to bring food with me because <laughs> There might be a pizzeria or, or a bakery. It's not going to give me what I need. So I bring food. I pack food. For our four kids, through all school years, then we packed food for them every morning. And that's what they ate at school. And, you know, it's funny because when you're ri little, some kids can uh, look at your food and say, that looks really weird. By the time you get to high school, you're cool as could be. Are you vegan? You're plant-based? That's as cool as could be. And college is like, that's it. So, um, you know, if you have little kids and you wonder, you know, how I'm going to do this for them and, and explain this for them, um, you be the example at home anyway. And then you do the best that you can with what they, <clears throat> what they eat at school and they eat, they eat uh, much more when they come home too. And the juice is a big part for them too. So, uh, supplements we take in the morning and some we take before meals like enzymes, probiotic, and B12 we put everybody on. It's amazing. So we, so we do have some supplementation because unfortunately our soil is so depleted that all the things that we thought that we were going to get, I mean, you look at that broccoli, it looks fantastic. And then when you test it, it doesn't have all the magnesium, calcium, phosphorus. You know, it doesn't have it. It just looks great because it's been pumped up with pesticides and fertilizers. And so, of course, you go organic and it might not look as pumped up as the other foods, but you go organic. So that's very important. And you don't want genetic manipulated foods to get into your baby's or uh, child's body either. So, um, and you know, when I'm from Europe, I'm from Sweden, <coughs> it's not allowed. So it's really strange. You're in America and it's allowed. And, and so most of the world says, no, we don't want it. And a lot of chemicals is not allowed in most of the world that is actually allowed in our food here. And uh, so we have to be even more protective being in America. And uh, I think, uh, you know, the water that you drink, the water that you drink is very important. We drink distilled water. And there are times, of course, when we travel, uh, we try to get as much distilled water as we can. Uh, I don't like to get water in a plastic bottle. Of course, that's not the ideal. At home, it's all in glass. And, um, you know, the water that you take your shower with. 
So now you can find um, that whole house uh, <coughs> water filter. And you can, if you don't, if you can't have that, you can have shower filter that you can buy in most stores, water, water purification stores. And um, so you take care of that. You know, you want to you wanna live in a good environment. So if, you, if you're not living in a good environment that where there's a lot of pollution, maybe you start looking out to see how you can uh, move out of that and find better fresh air where you can easily go out and take a walk where there's nice parks and so on. And you know, the clothes you wear, yeah, the clothes you wear, you want to have uh, pure um, uh, fiber, you want to you want to shoes, good stuff, and you want to um, you want to you want to be able to have comfortable shoes. I feel so bad, you know. I'm I'm kind of a little bit tall, so I never went, got into the high heel. But women are destroying themselves with high heel. You know, they get back pain and neck pain and shoulder pain and of course ankle pain and feet and you know it's. Uh, I think we need to start looking at how we look and have a different trend of how we look. And yes, everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to look healthy and, and be happy about and, and be have a, you know, and it's, it's for our self-esteem too, of course, it works. But self-esteem doesn't really look, start with the clothes I wear, the shoes I wear. That starts from the inside. It starts from that I am content with my life and I am, I am clear about who I am. And th so, you know, if I'm not, I gotta find my way there. And we do a test called Biofeedback, um, CyberScan and BioWell, and it actually gives you affirmations that are like, is, it, is, it, it is as if your body is talking to you and telling you this is something you need. And it's, it says the most amazing things about the person. And I, I tell everybody, this is your help. And many times people wonder, why did I get this affirmation? And afterwards they come back, I know why I got that. And I need it and I, uh, it's gonna make me grow. And, and it's that extra support. So, you know, some people um, find their way in life all by themselves and go through trauma, totally different than others, and some people dive into it. And so you want to keep your head far above and you want to say, I don't take no for an answer. If you believe in yourself, you never take no for an answer.